Shalom, dear friends. This week, the internet went crazy, and I mean crazy. WhatsApp, which is used by over one billion people, went down for two hours, and everybody was going crazy. You see, the reason why there are so many addicts who are so connected to WhatsApp is because it's an incredible tool that gives us the opportunity to communicate with absolutely everyone. But it's more than just a communication app. It tells you when your friend is awake, when your friend read your message, and it gives you real-time reports of who's responding to you at any time. And for me as a Chabad rabbi, I love WhatsApp. You see, I'm the inspiration business. I'm trying to inspire people to light Shabbat candles, to come to Shabbat dinner, to maybe engage in more positive extracurricular activities on a Thursday night. And it's an incredible tool that I could send a message to a student saying, hey, Sam, do you want to come to Shabbat services tomorrow morning? Or do you want to come Sunday morning and put on tefillin? And I could see if he's still sleeping. I could see if he woke up and is ignoring my message. It's an incredible tool that gives us the ability to communicate with others in such a powerful way. That's why, my friends, I believe that WhatsApp is so popular because not only you could communicate with others, not only it's free, but it actually makes it so accessible. Truthfully, my friends, it got me thinking, could there be a parallel for WhatsApp in our relationship with God? I mean, think about it. God is constantly online. His status is always set to available. He never goes to sleep. He always reads our messages. And you can send him a message in any language from anywhere in the world at any time, and he receives it instantly. It seems like his Wi-Fi is always up. But here's what's interesting, my friends. This week, billions of people around the world freaked out when WhatsApp, when WhatsApp was down for two hours, would you freak out for two hours if you thought that your connection to God is a little bit weakened? I want to encourage you, my friends, to join me on this challenge. What can we do to ensure that our addiction to God is almost as strong as our addiction to our WhatsApp? A lot of times people tell me, Rabbi, I don't really connect with prayer. Well, I like to compare a relationship to God with our relationship with music, with love, with humor. Can you live without music? Sure. Can you live without humor? Absolutely. Can you live without love? You probably can. But, my friends, a life without love, humor, and music is a shallower life. You can live, you can think, you can walk, you can breathe, but it's missing something very important. It's missing a deeper component. So can you live without talking to God? Yes, you can. But it's a life that's lacking a certain dimension, a certain depth. It's a narrower life. There's no infinity, no mystery, no real purpose, no real meaning. My life doesn't really add up to anything without having that daily communication with God. So where does this take us, my friends? I encourage you to join me as we embark tonight on a 24-hour challenge of doing a WhatsApp outage. Disconnect in order to connect. Let go of all the technology around you and use the 24 hours of Shabbat to communicate with God. And I guarantee you that when you open your heart, like the verse says, Shivchi kamayim libech, neichach fnei Hashem. When you open up your heart and you let your feelings pour out like water and you communicate to God like a therapist, you tell him your fears and your struggles, you tell him how nervous you are that you're graduating from college and you still don't have a job, or you tell him about that date that hasn't really worked out in the best way, Talk to him, open your heart, and you will see that he will answer very quick. In fact, he will answer your message faster than your wildest imaginations. So Shabbat Shalom, my friends. I hope you're watching this video on WhatsApp and looking forward to many more good times.